guys, so I'm back. This is the third video that I'm filming today, so you're going to see this look for a while. Um, actually, this would be the last one. Well, I don't know what order they're going to go up in. But anyway, I am back with my Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, I picked up a few things that I wanted to let y'all know what goodies I got. So let's just dive right on in. I got, and I've used almost all of these products because... Well, I just did a tutorial with most of them. Um, so, yeah. I picked up the Lorac Unzipped Palette. Um, Lorac. I don't know why I do that so much. Looks like this. It is absolutely gorgeous. It came in um, this little guy with this little primer. Um, I actually already have one of these from buying the Pro Palette. Or one of those. Um, I haven't... I don't even think I've tried it yet, but, um, and then it slipped into this. So, the packaging is super cute. It's cardboard, but it's, it's sturdy. You could definitely travel with it. Um, okay, I also picked up the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is the, uh, pressed one. I've heard so many people talk about this, um, mixed reviews, but I wanted to give it a try myself. And, um, looks like this. It comes in that little pouch, and there's, like, a little cheapo sponge. Um, I'm wearing it today. I actually really like it. When I first got it, like, I've heard, um, like, Laura, uh, Miss Lola Lynn, she had said that she couldn't get any product to come off. You see, like, it's barely on my finger. Um, and in the store, when you do it, you can really, like, it comes, you can see it on your hand. Um, but what I did was I scratched it, I scratched it a little bit, and I use it with this brush right here. This is just one of those cheapo e.l.f. brushes, and you see, you can see the product now, like it's on it. And then I just like sweep it across my face, like so, and it just really does smooth away imperfections. Like I, oh, messed up my eyebrow, that's what I did. <laughs> um... I really love it. I'm, I mean, I'm loving it so far. So, I'm not sure. You know. Not sure, but I love it. I, I, I agree that you shouldn't have to, like, scratch it and damage the product to get it to work. But, yes. So, I like it. I also picked up from NARS the One Night Stand um, blush more like a face because it's got a laguna and a highlighter in it it comes like this love the packaging it's the typical NARS packaging just like the pressed um you open up you have a huge mirror looks like that I have used this a little I have used the uh laguna oh I'm blinding y'all and this color, I'm not sure which one this is, but it's like the darkest one in the palette. And I love both of those. The highlighter, I don't really like. You can't really tell on my hand here. And I've only used it once, so maybe I need to give it, you know, another shot. But when I put it on my face, I felt like it was very glittery. Um, I thought it really doesn't look like that. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I'll have to try it again. But anyway, they are all gorgeous shades. Love it. Been loving it. If you can find it, get it. Um, I also picked up my first thing from the Marc Jacobs line. This is the Blush and Shameless. This was really the only one that intrigued me at all. Um, and they're expensive. Um, and you get like less product than like typical. So it comes in this little pouch, little brush. Haven't used any of this, so I don't know. But this is 212 ounce spoken. This is, ooh, has this little Marc Jacobs thing that goes over it. Okay, first of all, packaging. I love it. I don't really care about the, um, whether or not I like the other colors. I just want them for the packaging. That is so lame. I'm not going to get them, but I want them. So it looks like this. It's just a gorgeous lavender color. Let's see. I haven't even swatched it yet. Do y'all see? And I cannot wait. This might be a lot like a matte color I have. 
I'll have to swatch them side by side. I would do it for y'all, but the camera stand is blocking my blush drawer. So, yeah. We will see how I like that. It's a gorgeous color. I've heard good, good, good things. Let's get that off. Um, I picked up the Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation. And I'm wearing it today. And I just want to let y'all know, I'm obsessed with this. This is my new Holy Grail powder. It is definitely not, like, it's more than a setting powder. It does have a lot of coverage, just like the foundation does. Um, but I just love it. Because I have, like, a lot of, um, like, I don't even know, hyperpigmentation, like, on my jawline. And this is the first powder that's really helped conceal that. So... Love it. And, like, I'm not an oily person at all, but, like, things will start to break away on my nose or whatever a little bit. Not with this bad boy. Recommend it. Love it. I was really wanting the, um, I couldn't decide if I wanted the Smashbox Master whatever palette, too. And it's gorgeous, but I just have so many palettes. Um... But the thing that I actually, I actually love, 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 and because Jaclyn Hill talked about it, was the uh, shimmer um, that's in it. And it's called Shimmer. So I was, like, telling the girl at Sephora that. And she's like, oh, yeah, well, you can buy that all by itself. Looky there. I don't have another highlighter like this. I actually, highlighters is something I usually typically buy from the drugstore. I only have NARS Albatross in this one. That's from, um, like, High End. And I have some MAC ones. But, um, it is a gorgeous color. I don't have anything like it. It's like, it's almost like a rose gold. Like, pinky, rosy, goldy. I don't know. I'm awful at describing colors. But, I'm sorry I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm like trying to hurry. We have to go, um, shopping to get my husband his tennis shoes and hoodies and stuff for our vacation. And I'm stoked about it. So, you know trying to hurry. Um, I also picked up another Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Native. I Oh, I'm wearing Rapture today. I picked that up from Ulta in my last haul video. But it's just a gorgeous pink color. I actually thought it was a dupe for Angel. I was talking to, um, not talking, texting Danny from Coffee Break with Danny. And she's like, I don't think it's a dupe. So when I bought it and got it home, definitely not a dupe. But I swatched it in the store because I had... Um, angel with me in my bag and I guess the lighting was really off because it looked like an exact dupe and it's totally not um at all <laughs> like at all I'll swatch it for y'all but um yeah you see like I couldn't have been further off can you see was that too fast <laughs> but anyway I love it it's gorgeous I actually this was an item that I uh, re I actually returned another one. I bought Shame. I finally found Shame. There was one left. Um, so excited about it. And I got it home and put it on. And uh, my friend Rachel from Glow of Grace, she says that she has to apply it with a lip brush. And I was just hoping that I didn't have to do that. But I should have listened to her. Um, because you really do. It goes on very st streaky and patchy, in my opinion. I really need to do, like, a products not worth the hype kind of thing. Because I've got a couple that, like, people have raved about that just has not worked for me. But, um, but yeah, it was patchy and, like, I felt like it would bleed. And, like, when you're wearing a dark color like that, you do not want to go to work feeling like or go anywhere. You know, you could have, like, whatever. It went back. I know that you could have did it with a brush, but when you're a mom, when you need to reapply and you're on the go and it's not something you can throw in your purse and reapply real quick, it's just not for me. So I took it back and got native and I absolutely love that. So yeah, I also took back my YSL lipstick. It was my first lipstick. It was in the color everyone talks about, nude beige, and it was supposed to be like a nudie pink and it pulled very peach on me. Um, in most light, like a natural light, it was peachy. So, I took that back. Not even so much for the, because of the color, but because of the smell and the taste. And I have not heard anyone talk about, um, like, having a weird taste. But I could just, when I went like, it was 
I just didn't like it. And for $34, not loving the color and hating the smell and the taste of it, I basically would have kept it for the packaging, which is gorgeous. It's no one has packaging as beautiful as YSL, but couldn't do it. So I took that thing back. But anyway, um, don't hate me, my opinion. So, oh, and then I just got a bag full of a whole lot of samples that they were giving away. I'm not going to go through all those. So, that is it. I'm done shopping for a while. I actually should go on another no buy. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all picked up from the sale down below in the comments. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Mwah.